Alrighty, so now I'm going to tell you about this uh, apartment desk and home office unit that I had custom built for a friend of mine uh, who needed something to fit into an existing workspace in her apartment uh, beside this giant wall unit that you see here, along with a picture of my bored dog lying down on the rug. So my friend David, who's a uh, carpenter and cabinetry maker, um, was kind enough to make something to this specification to fit a gap in the wall uh, in this apartment um, beside the wall unit. And we made it the same height as the wall unit, but not quite so deep because the idea was that the desk wouldn't go any further than the um, where the wall came out. And it would be good for a small woman to sit and do her bookkeeping and go on the internet. The computer that you see there uh, is an iMac from, I'd say, the uh, early part of the 2000s or the aughts. Uh, it's a machine I gave to my friend uh, specifically to fit into that gap and so that it wouldn't take up too much, sorry, so that it wouldn't take up too much space in her apartment. She could sit there with a chair and she could have a way of doing bookkeeping and things like that. Sorry about this bad pan. I'm going to go back to the desk and I'm going to show you... Um, the drawers are about this big, and uh, they're in good shape. I think the thing is entirely made by wood joinery. It's not veneer. It's well made by my friend David, who knew what he was doing. And um, it houses the modem and router uh, behind the computer, and the cables go down underneath very easily. And then you have these shelving units, pigeonholes for uh, letters and more pigeonholes for diaries and bills and we designed specifically shelving uh, to go up high to hold her photo albums, some of her books. This is a bit of a mess right now because it's in transition. We're preparing to move um, so that's what's going on there but that's the working unit for a person who wants a small office, home office uh, in a space or a corner of their apartment or house where they can make some room. Could be a kitchen nook, could be, um, who knows, could be a basement, could be a child's bedroom for doing home learning uh, during uh, the clampdown or the lockdown or the COVID isolation. There you see a standard solid wood chair sitting. I think that's a chair that has probably, I'd say 18 or 21 inch high seat, fits nicely in front of it. And once again, here are the drawers. Uh, lots of room for letters, bills, pencils, pencil sharpeners, a Presto card, a laundry card, measuring tapes, pencil sharpener, batteries, uh, stuff, uh, um, two phones. Uh, that's for uh, me to use now since I have one as a normal phone and the other one is my James Bond phone as I work here. And once again, there are the pigeonholes. It's made out of solid wood. Uh, one piece construction so if you want to buy it uh, you need to find a vehicle that can transport this and tuck it away and when I say a one piece it was done with joinery it's not from Ikea uh, and it's solid wood so it needs care and transportation uh, my friend David put veneer on some of the wood now this is probably plywood here and here's a flaw that you might need to fix you can see it where the uh, plywood has come apart needs to be re-glued possibly refinished but that is actually the only flaw on this piece, is that stretch, which somebody who's handy or more handy than I am could probably fix. So there you have it, the home office working nook cabinet, desk drawers, pigeonholes, and shelves can fit into many different spaces. Oh, and the dimensions. Um, I seem to remember, let me get my ruler over here. I seem to remember that it was a straight 36 inches across. Uh, in, in fact, exactly 36 inches across. Let's have a look. Yep, 36 inches. And I seem to remember that it was about 12 inches deep. And I said I wanted that so that I could fit LPs in there. And there it is, 12 inches, or 12 and a half actually, maybe even 12.75. Um, and then up here, it joins with the wall unit, which is sold already, but that's 78 inches high or six and a half feet and leaves a lot of clearance in a standard apartment for ceiling to put speakers or other stuff other than a bust of uh, Johann Goethe or a brass bear or some little angels. 
Okay, thanks for watching the video. And if you're interested, send me a note. And um, that screensaver is the fabulous Oyster Bar in New York City. Thank you. Bye-bye.